We are at Polintia, which is an ancient Roman village outside of the city of Alcudia on the island of Mallorca, which is one of the Balearic Islands off of Spain. So we're up at 6.30 to be out here by 7.30 to start digging. I'm currently working with Dr. Bard and Dr. Brewer. We're looking at taking XRF of bones to try and find the exact elements, ratios within all of the bones, which can help tell us what they ate back then, what their health was, and just give us some more of a view of what life was back then. Approximately 10% of the city that has been discovered, but there is 90% of the city still to be uncovered. At the same time that we are patient, we are always very excited because the excitement of the finding keeps you working through this sun and this heat. I've always been pretty interested in archaeology since I was little. I used to pretend I was an archaeologist in the backyard. We have the site, Confinals, all to ourselves, and we use the 3D scanner on the iPad. And what we've been doing is we've been scanning different structures and different graves at our site. It helps the archaeologists here so we can give them some of our 3D scans and they can track progress. What my research specifically is, is to find soil samples to see if the bacteria that we find in those soils are different from the modern bacteria that we have. And what we're hoping is that ancient bacteria, which have not seen modern microbes, may be making antibiotics that would be useful for medicines. So one of the biggest things is patience, sweeping away one layer to reveal another layer more clearly. And it's like now you can start to see the difference in the soil samples. And when you're going through a tomb, it's like you have to be patient. You can't just start scraping away because you're going to hit a bone. You may break a bone. They're so fragile. So just taking time and slowing down and just like appreciating what's in front of you is another huge thing to take. It's just the respect and appreciation for a different culture, for a different way of life. The first time you start digging, you find something. It's pretty cool. And then when we were looking for the bones for the bone project, we actually, there was an intact skull in one of them. So I was able to hold like a human skull dated back to like the 13th century, just in my hands. And that's pretty incredible just to, just to hold that piece of history in your hands. It's a very humbling experience. The excavation process is just one part of what we do. Then we have to process all the findings, the pottery, you know, the metallic objects we found, the coins. So we have to wash all that, we have to classify all that. In a way, I normally say that one month of excavation in the fields of Polentia, it means that we have like about a year of work in our laboratories, in our universities, of processing those data, interpreting the data. The research can be so absorbing that we could do it all the time and collect data all the time, but an important part of archaeology is processing the finds that you have in the field. You have to have such a amount of respect too, because this was someone's body. This was someone's life. So we take XRF scans of different bones and see uh, what the element compositions are. We hope to find out things like diet, can even like extrapolate their socioeconomic status from that. We're analyzing them to try to understand how they live. We have this sort of partner um, research effort going on at the St. Jama Church Museum in town. They have generously given us unfettered access to paintings dating back to the 1400s. And so we are also doing pigment studies on these medieval 15th century paintings. I've been involved with pigment analysis with Dr. Walters. Um, in which we look at different paintings that they have here and we take a look to see if the pigments are different than what are expected, older and newer than the age of the painting. The techniques uh, that we're using are XRF, which stands for X-ray fluorescence. Uh, we're also using Raman spectroscopy. Uh, we also have reflectance spectroscopy and infrared imaging. Certain pigments give off a certain signature, I guess you would say, and it, they have certain peaks. So anytime you see a peak, it's always interesting. We have ones that we know very well, and we're like, okay, this is this pigment. But it's always fun to get one that's like not one that we all see all the time. That requires some more research and in-depth processing, but that's always fun because you're kind of, it's kind of like a mystery. This altarpiece is from the Santa Ana Oratorio, or chapel. We found ultramarine, vermilion, and gold, all of which were pretty expensive during that time period. So that suggests that this altarpiece was really important to, to the people who commissioned it and to the city of Alcudia, where it has been for centuries. 
Hands-on research is the best way to learn how to do things. It is everything that I thought it would be and more. And the people that you meet, that's a whole part of it too. Being able to work with the professors is incredible. Like They treat us almost like we're their peers. We're just working to answer questions and solve problems together. It's exciting to bring them into a scientific study as colleagues. The program is working very well in, in many senses. UP people, apart from helping in the excavation process, help us a lot in that analytical work. It's a really awesome experience and I love it.